Take a look at this. Just feast your eyes on this sublime sub-zero shot from a Nunavut photographer named Michael H. Davies. He got those recently, posted them. They've gone viral, as things do now. But we looked at them and we just were awestruck by them. So beautiful that we thought, we want to meet the photographer. So joining me on the phone from Pangertung, where he lives, is Michael H. Davies. Michael, good morning. Good morning from Nunavut, Heather. Good morning to you from Toronto, all the way from Toronto to you, and thanks for giving us some time today. As I said, our team, we looked at your photo, Michael. We were totally captivated by it. We had to find out the story behind it. So here we are on the phone to, to you. Number one, tell me about this day, the day that you went out in. Well, it's it's, uh, it's it's kind of funny. It's an interesting story, actually. We I started out. I've been watching the uh, weather patterns and watching it get colder and colder. Yes. So I've had this idea in my mind for a little while about throwing tea in the air. So I phone up my friend here, Marcus, who's incidentally sitting beside me having a glass of tea currently. Um, and I I said, let's go out and try this. So his first response was, he was busy. He had to go and uh, work a little bit with his wife's dog team first. So after a little bit, I hung up the phone and said to my wife, well, I guess today's not going to be the day. Uh -huh. And about an hour later, he phoned me back, and off we went. And it looks like it was just, you know, blue sky, the end of sunshine. It, was, it looks like perfect conditions. It was just beautiful. We, we drove up top of this uh, mountain about 45 minutes from town, and the sun was just perfect. We have about two and a half hours of light now. Oh my. So my window was, was quite <laughs> small that I could use. To say the least. So you're up there with your tea. Now I've seen the hot water turn to crystals. I've never seen what tea does. Is there something particular about the tea you were trying with? There's nothing special about the tea. I've been asked a million times online. There's nothing special about it being tea. The, uh, the reason why we bought tea, brought tea with us it's really simple. We figured if this didn't work, at least we have something to drink. <laughs> that was good thinking. So, okay, tell me about, so this is you. You're the subject or is this your friend? This is my friend, Marcus. This is your friend. So he's with you because you're obviously taking the picture, of course. So Correct. Marcus is there. So did he make a particular move or tell me about how he created this beautiful circle? Well, the first, the, we actually took three attempts. Um, this, the photo that went viral is actually on the second attempt. So what happened was I lined him up um, with the sun above his head, and the way he bent, it just was perfect. So what happened is, is as he was leaning back, the spray slowly floated, and the sun was framed in it. It is magnificent. So when you get a look at this, I mean, how rare is that to get just the sun just so, to get everything just perfect? When you saw this, what did you think? That's so funny, too. I didn't like the photo. What? My first, my first response, I came back and I showed my wife and said, what do you think? We're going through the photos that I took. Because, I, again, we tried it a couple times, and I picked a completely different one than I thought. And she said, no, this one's better. I don't know. She says, well, why don't you put it on Facebook and just see? So I, I put it on Facebook and just shared it to my friends. And I saw them sharing it immediately, and I thought, okay, well, what I'll do is I, I don't normally make my images public. But I thought, today I'll, I'll make it public just to see, just for fun. So... Um, Marcus and his wife came by a couple hours later, mm -hmm. and I said, oh, my gosh, we broke the Internet. There's 200 shares. <laughs> but now there are 100,000 we shares. Do you think it'll go to 5,000? Do you think it'll go to 2,000? We never imagined it would be what it is now. Isn't that remarkable? What a terrific reaction. Well, it, it's, you know... It's stunning. What can I say? But so are your other photos. We're going to show some more, Michael, okay? I was thinking That'd to be, be a photographer in the north, inspiration everywhere. Northern lights, is that one of your favorite things to capture? I love it. I love it. You can never shoot them too much. They change every time. It's just it's an amazing thing to see. It is an amazing thing for us to see as you have captured this. I'm not sure if we have any more of those of the northern lights, but I do. Oh, there's another one, too. Yes, as you say, that, every that day is different. Mark is standing there also. He's a good assistant for you because you're capturing some beautiful things. There's a whole scene in front of an Anukshuk. 
He's your glorious. And he told me now that he doesn't, I, I can never take another photo without him not being in it. <laughs> He's your good luck charm. Okay, I want to move on to the Northern Lights. I, I can see why the Governor General has some of these in his collection. No wonder you would want to have these as part of your art collection. I was wondering, though, here where I am in Toronto and much of the rest of the country, in Ottawa and Montreal, 50% of the country, we're going to have a green Christmas, Marcus, uh, from Michael and Marcus. And so I wanted to make sure that we show what it looks like where you are so we can be green with envy as we look to what Christmas in your part of the world is going to look like. Let's show some of the northern shots here. Tell me about uh, what it looks like where you are right now. Well, you're looking at last weekend right now. <laughs> okay, you're out in your snowmobile. There's a lot of snow. It's magnificent. Yeah, we have. We had a, quite a dump the other day, so we're all full up, up high in the hills now. And last weekend we had a near whiteout conditions out in the snowmobile. We had to go out and see what we could find. Huh. I'm a little wistful. We'll get ours eventually, but we don't have it yet. So green Christmas oh, well, here. Come down. Okay, <laughs> that's what it's like. 50k below the Arctic Circle. <laughs> Michael, what a pleasure to meet you, and uh, congratulations on that beautiful piece that you captured. And thanks, uh, so thanks much, for Heather. sharing it with us. Michael H. Davies joining us from up in Nunavut this morning.